Hi everybody, I'm Dove. And Nicole. We're so happy to be with you guys today, talk about something that's really important um, to us and also really important to a lot of you guys out there if you're watching this. Yeah. Um, and that is twin flame separation and the gift, right? The gift that actually comes out of this separation, um, the and gift I, that is the separation. <laughs> and I know you guys are like, are you mm -mm kidding me right now? <laughs> like, that's a gift because we've been there and it's been really painful. I just wanted to say that. So I know that, that it's going to trigger you and, right. and you're going to have this feeling like gift. Yeah. Yeah, it's a gift and we're gonna explain why and we went through it and it was really hard But we got through it and it changed the game. It changed everything. It changed our lives because um, we weren't actually prepared to be together <laughs> uh, Yeah, and what to do with it, right? So we're also gonna ask you guys to stay with us until the end of the video because we're also gonna talk about a couple things that you guys can actually do right um, ways that you can um, start to move into action and to understand what's going on and to feel empowered in this. And we are going to talk about that a lot um, today as well. So, you know, so stick with us, even though it's hard, it's a hard topic, but it's also necessary and having the context, right? Having yeah. the, the picture of what it is that you're going through, why you're going through it. You know, Nicole and I talk all the time about how, oh my God, when we were going through it, nobody understood really, right? We were really lucky to have um, support finally, but at the beginning and through many, many years of our relationship, people did not understand friends, family, therapists, coaches, yeah. right? It's like they didn't really understand what You're we were- You're codependent, I'm a narcissist, and it's like, that's not true. It's just us trying to fumble through and figure out what is going on with this connection and why are we so in love and why is this so intense and then why do we hate each other and can't be with each other and and it goes on and on and you guys know what we're talking about yeah. you know exactly what you're talking about you know when we met we activate this union but then we activate all of our stuff we activate the wounds we activate the trauma we mirror each other so if you are disconnected from self if you are disconnected from God if you are not in your body if you are not seated in this being yeah. wow it is hard to be together it's almost impossible I don't even know how we did it <laughs> like I mean it was it was literally God keeping us together I mean we almost died both of us um, I, pretty sure we probably almost killed each other multiple times and like the, the <laughs> relationship looked abusive I mean it was really really not easy and no people don't understand we understand we get you yeah. you know your therapist I mean our therapist when we were in separation we were trying to get back together and we went in with our wounds so we have this really expensive, amazing therapist in New York City. It's one of the best for what he does. And he was good. And we sat there and we were sitting in our wounds. Mm -hmm. We were sitting in negative ego. We were sitting, we were like trying to be like in a higher self, but we were so much pain and there was so much just focus on the 3D. And especially when you're working in therapy, really focused on all these symptoms and everything that's happened. Yeah. And this man was like, you guys have nothing in common. You guys need to break up. You need to be put on med. It's like, and we just sat there and we, we almost like gave up our relationship over this. And I, I just want to say that because maybe some of you have gone through this. Maybe you are questioning what you're feeling. Maybe you are struggling. Maybe you're just on this twin flame path and just realize like we, you know, didn't know. We didn't oh. know what we were experiencing. No. There was no content. Right. We thought we were just, I don't know. I thought I was kind of crazy at some points, like for staying, but there was no way to disconnect from this, even if you tried. Uh -huh. There's no way to disconnect. And that's okay. We're going to explain to you some tools that you can do if you are in separation. And it's been a while and stuff like that. But yeah, and what it means to have the connection, right? So when Nicole says there's no way to disconnect, what the heck does that mean? Right? We're not talking about this. We're not talking about this because the thing is that here's what we lose focus of too with twin flame relationships and strong soul relationships, strong unions, right? But specifically twin flame unions and mission based unions, right? So if you haven't seen our video about like mission based unions, right? So these really strong soul connections, sacred unions, sacred unions that have purpose, right? And so our mind is conceptually limited. We think, okay, great relationship box, ideas, paradigm structures that need to kind of crumble and break down so that the real sacred union can actually expand so that we can actually be in consciousness of this. But there is so more. So when we talk about connection that you can't break, we're talking about this energetic and bond of the soul, especially with twins, that if you try to disconnect it energetically, you're trying to disconnect from yourself. You are disconnecting from yourself. You're running away from yourself and you don't even realize that you're doing that. Can you live in a life without your twin? Can you have another partner? Can you do all these things? You can, right? Because we're not talking about this when we talk about not disconnecting, 
right? And that shift, and we can talk about it more a little bit in the video, we're gonna talk about it more in other contexts with you guys, that shift allows so much connection to yourself, source, as Nicole was saying, being in this, right? This connection, not trying to be like, like it's not a diet, right? Like if you're a twin and you're here on this planet, your twins here on this planet, or you just know it in your soul, your heart, your core, right? It's not a diet. We don't just say, yeah. oh, I'm off, I'm done, finished, like done with that. You cannot pursue the 3D relationship, right? But yeah. this connection that actually is feeding your divinity, feeding your soul, right? You are feeding that part and you are able to do purpose here and you're able to be in your truth and you're able to be in who you are and you're able to expand that light all around you. Mm. It's like if I said to you, you know what, I'm just kind of done existing. Because that connection, yeah. even if I never see Nicole again in the 3D, that connection is there. It's part of me, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Why is this a gift? We don't change unless we're backed into a corner. Mm -hmm. It is, it, you can have business coaches, life coaches, spiritual coaches, everyone's gonna tell you the same thing. Unless you are backed into a corner, you're not gonna have the fervency or the drive to change. If things are comfortable, you're chilling. You are Netflix and chilling. And I, she did this so many times I had to do it back to her. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're not gonna wanna change. And the thing is, is you have the opportunity. If you are to be in union, you have to take care of you. You have to recommit to you, hmm. not to your twin, to you. And I always say this, we are one, but as soon as we came in in this body and I was being born at that moment, I was all alone in this body and there's that separation. It's illusion, but there was that separation in that moment. And I'm, and it was, it, it's, you're in this being, this being is with this flesh, this suit you need to take care of on so many different, there's so many different levels of you doing what you need to do for you on the mental level on the emotional, on the spiritual and on your, on the physical. So it's a gift because you get to recommit to you. And when you recommit to you, you start to create the reunion between you and God, this reunion between yeah. you and higher self. And I love the word reunion, we've been using it so much because that is the only way for there to be reunion between you and your twin. For you to do that work, for you to stand up for yourself and not forget why you came here. I didn't come here for her. We came here to do this together, but I came here because my soul, right, with her soul and that third energy came to serve. Yeah. and to help this planet evolve and to help you to help you understand like we're getting fed all this consciousness and we're waking up and we work and this is the other part daily practice what i ate yesterday and what i did yesterday does not feed nicole today it's not it has to be done like we hear people constantly be like well i just i've worked so hard on myself and i used to be saying that every day i work so hard i work well, you're gonna have to work hard every day. And the more you work on yourself, the harder it's going to feel. The fight stops, the letting go happens, and you trust and you go. And that is the place where the polarization happens, right, in the separation. And when you're doing that kind of work, you're doing it on behalf of you and your twin, so your twin changes. And if you're in a sacred union and you're not in a twin flame, it's the same thing and we're gonna yeah. teach you different things that we learned along the way from mentors and just from channeling and just being and using these tools because there's hope. We get tunnel vision and separation because we're in our misery and we're like this and we're looking at the out at everything and we're looking at like, if the outcome is like, I'm not with her or him, I'm not gonna be okay. And the thing is, is you're always gonna be okay and you're always going to be connected. And when we're in tunnel vision, we miss out on every option that we could have of being with that person. Yes. We're blocking ourselves from actually being in union. When we hmm. don't, just let go and surrender to ourselves. Surrender to you, trust you. And we know that the agony, the pain, it will be soothed as you get closer to you because you have all the answers. You have everything that you need. You can tap into the all knowing, the I am presence. You have that, that and you have like, you have like the access to that very quickly. Mm -hmm. You're very powerful. This union, even in separation, is very, very powerful. My wife knows how powerful <laughs> that is. <laughs> it is. 
You know, and you know, Nicole says something that was really important. And when you're doing this work, because you share this energy, right? Because you share this deep connection that's so much past what we can even conceptualize, right? You're doing this work for you, it's always for them. At the same time, it's always simultaneously because you are them, it is you, we are all, right? So, but especially with this twin energy, and you can do it. So it's like, you don't have to worry about what am I doing for them? Start healing it for you. It's going to heal in them. It's going to heal in them. And they have free will. So they can do whatever they want in the ego form. But the thing is that the goal, the ultimate goal, right? It's this soul level evolution, mm. right? So a lot of people are like, well, I'm not seeing the result right now in the 3D that I want to see. I'm not, I don't like what my world looks like, right? I don't like the weather. But here's the thing. We're here for the soul evolution. And this connection, like Nicole was saying, it's, healing the earth it's raising consciousness it's doing it is serving it has a purpose right it has a greater good purpose and it has a purpose of your soul's evolution that's the sight don't lose sight of that right so when people say i just want to give up i'm done because they're a jerk whatever okay so you're not psyched about where their ego is at their process right but this energy like healing and feeding and evolving that energy in yourself for the 5D in this sort of energetic realm, you're helping more than just yourself. It's expanding, it's expanding, and that's purpose, and that's so important to stay in remembrance of what it is, right? Yeah. Like getting refocused into, wait a second, what what is the purpose of this? The purpose is not, you know, it's great. It's great when you can be together, right? And and it's possible. So a lot of, a lot of twins that have come together and actually met and separated again, a lot of you, have planned to actually try to be in physical connection, yes. right? That's why you're you're incarnating at the same time. You plan it together. You're attempting to do it. Um, so what happens, right? What happens when you like get together and you're all like, oh my god, it's really good. It's really exciting for three months. It's so good, right? For three all, months. All these good connections. <laughs> five months, six months, three months, two weeks, whatever, right? And you're like, woo! And it feels really good. And then, right? I like to imagine it like a pyramid. So this is you guys on the top. This is at soul level. There's no disconnect, right? There's just connection. There's just love, right? And then here at the bottom, on each side, is you. And all this space in the center, that is our lifetimes of blocks, of restrictions, of traumas, mm. of wounds, of energies, patterns, fears, behaviors, right? And we just stack them up. And now, there's all this space between you guys at 3D. And then you come together, and you look at each other and you trigger all of that energy, right? And now, Nicole was talking about concepts, right? So in, people talk a lot about like codependent and narcissistic and codependent and narcissistic. So I would invite you to also believe and understand or think about the fact that it's not so simple, right? Because codependent also translates to not being in power, not being connected to self, um, having tremendous bonding wounds, maybe being a bonder that actually is extremely anxious, right? And it's like grabbing because the bonding wounds from childhood are really anxious, right? And then your partner and usually a lot of masculine energy, but it doesn't mean it has to be in a male, a lot of masculine energy can also like bond avoidantly and they'll like run away and push away, right? And so there's so much complexity and the masculine energy also can go into places of like very self-centered or if they're using substances or drugs, very self-focused, very in so much pain that they're not really focusing on your pain, right? And so we create these oversimplifications of yeah. what's going on. What really is going on is that you're now activating all this stuff. And so why is that also a gift? <laughs> Because that's also a gift. So we're taught to believe that as soon as something's uncomfortable, oh no, like, so that's got to be bad, right? So this means like this relationship must not be real or it must be bad because like now we like can't even be in the same space as each other and nobody pisses me off like her or him and I just like, what a jerk. And then like we connect, but then they run away or, and the other thing I will say, right? And I, I don't know if I said it in our runner chaser video and I will say it. We have to stop going like this all the time, pointing outward, because we have to take responsibility too for what it is that we are doing, 
right? That's also triggering a reaction in the other person because with twins and strong soul connections also, but with twins, we really play on each other's wounds and triggers and, and, and um, all of that stuff that we've experienced. And so this is also a gift because this is your time so to heal that. I remember when I learned that like she wasn't gonna heal my wounds, <laughs> nor was she gonna fill those wounds because they didn't that didn't last very long. Because you know we we kind of like polarize in our wounds, and it's like oh it feels so good because like it's it's exciting and it's mm. intense, and I'm not thinking about how frigged up I am, and I'm not. And then all of a sudden, when that it's all the truth starts to happen, and real life starts to happen. I then start to latch though, and I'm just like, why can't I get that from you anymore? Wait, 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 wait. And then I'm like, oh, wait a second. And then the dynamic changes, and it's like, no, now you, now you have to get what you need from God and you. And heal, in those the, and heal those things in you so that this can just be like this. Because when this is good, this is jelly. This is peanut butter and jelly <laughs> isn't that good. It just mixes. When this is right, and this is right, and this is right. All right? When this is off, it's like, you know, it, it, but we work through it now. Her and I like have tools to work through it. You know, and one of the, the, the greatest things I can tell you today is that when we're in so much pain, it's really hard to, to ground and anchor ourselves because we don't even want to be in our bodies. Uh. So every day, every morning, every night, ground and anchor yourself into the earth. If you have to take your shoes off, put your feet in the earth and ask to be grounded into mother earth. And she is like nurturing and healing and comfort. And she's like medicine. So whatever you're feeling or going through her medicine, there's always food or medicine for you there and that there's comfort there. But you have to be in your body to receive what, like all these messages and be present. Um, and also to, um, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 it's, I, I tell you what, when I, we moved to, we moved to Florida uh, a while ago, but before that, I, I didn't have, because we're living in New York City, it's like concrete. And when I came to Florida, I really had this romance yeah. with Mother Earth and the animals, and I it changed me. It changed me because the energy, the, the Earth's frequency, and the, lo the love, the love, like tapping into it when maybe you, you're having a hard time creating it or being in it, it really opens your heart chakra up. And it really grounds you because a lot of anxiety is from you not being grounded in your body. And it's like, it doesn't feel right. There's no connect. And so your spirit's like, oh, what the frig? So ground yourself. And the other thing is, I just said something about the heart chakra is, I know from the pain and all the pain you guys go through and the hurting and the cheating, you want to shut it down. And the thing is, when you shut that down, you shut down receiving you. You shut down receiving love from the, from the universe and God. And you shut down really receiving love from your twin and so you know i always say be the fool open your heart and no matter what happens keep it open because when that's open it really affects your emotions so you think that if i shut it down and be safe but what it does is it makes you emotionally distraught There's, it creates chaos when it's open and you start receiving love it literally mends the emotions it starts to work on the emotions and it gives you joy and it gives you peace and so what you think you're doing is keeping yourself safe you're actually creating chaos because you're not allowing this flow that is natural. It's a natural state, love, to give and receive. To give and receive. If you see animals when they have their babies, the way they love their babies, just like we love our babies, it's, it's so beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. So why would you shut that down? You're mm -hmm. safe with that heart wide open. You are yeah. fully protected. I know it doesn't feel that way because maybe you had a really bad upbringing or maybe you, know, you were abused or maybe like you got assaulted. And I understand that there's an aspect of you that's like, I can't. But yes, you can. Yes, you can. And, and the universe wants to give you so much more love to protect you. Like, let that in. Let that in to protect you. Let that in to show you. And the more you open, the more you'll be connected with your higher self. And your higher self, again, I'm going to say it, has all the answers for this. Right. It's going to guide you. And that's where you want to be. Not in negative ego. And not in like the lens of like trauma and pain. Because when we were there, there was just... There was no way that we could be at peace. There was no harmony. There was no way that we could be in the same room with each other at times. It was so difficult. And so committing to yourself, make, make a commitment today. Oh my God, today that you're gonna have a daily practice for yeah. you to get closer to you and God. And whatever's on the table that's keeping you from you. Separated. We can, we can work through that. You can work through that. We can yeah. help you through that. You yeah. can, if you have, if you, if you had a practice and you're not doing it, do it now because you're needed here. <laughs> you came here to, for, I, I said it before, I was like, don't forget why you came here. This is not an easy path. 
like this journey is not simple it's not it's no. so complex but there is so many different angels and high beings and ascended masters that are just waiting for you to ask for the help because they can't help you with free will they can't help you until you ask all you have to do is ask and it, it will come and it's gonna come fast so if you've been like really and not be able to get out of bed and you're shut off and you're like F you and F you and F you and just time to just let go and just be like, I just need help. Just need help. And here's the thing. If you're in a state of separation, everything Nicole was describing, when we have our blocks and restrictions, right? When we have, what, what the hell is a block and restriction? First of all, right? So when we have trauma, pain, styles of bonding and attaching to family and loved ones and all of these things when we have things even from past lives that we don't remember Curses, choices spells, packs, yeah yeah choices and energies that come from outside of us right so that's like a whole another list we could describe what all of those things that she just I wasn't described going are to describe it to you. i was just giving you just throwing some stuff out there we will right we might get into all that stuff because that's like all external extras right and all of this it's stuff energy. is there it's just blocks it's energetic blocks yeah, so there's all of this energy, and it's like all those things create more and more and more separation from us and ourself, right? And the universe and creation and God and all of that energy. And then we get very far from our twins' energy also, because we're very far from ourself, right? So really, the only way we can start to kind of close that gap and start to come into remembering who we are and coming into our power and having the life that we want, right? Like all around, just like abundance and family and, um, and, and ease, right? And feeling our power again and having like connection with our twin is really by coming into this reunion, as Nicole put it, with ourself, right? With ourself and with the universe. Um, and yeah, that is some work, but here's the thing. And I, I feel like it's very empowering to have a challenging life. Why is that? Because the thing is that with each level, each progression in our evolution, right, gets a little more challenging because we're growing and refining at a higher level. If you play video games, which I don't, or if you've ever even played any type of game, right, as the levels go up, they get more difficult. Simple. It's the same in life. It gets more challenging. We choose to have more obstructions. We choose to have more difficulties in our lives because we're refining, we're learning to get over those yeah. hurdles, those obstacles, we're learning to heal those, and we can heal those on a broad scale for other people as well. So when you're getting over something and then you're coming into your power, say so you had a tragedy in your life and you're really traumatized and you, you heal it, you really heal it, you really release it, you really let it out of you, right? You come into a place of remembering who you are. You expand that all around you. You become a lighthouse for your family, for your twin, Right? One thing my mom said to me many, many years ago before I even had any concept of being twins with Nicola, she said, if you both go down, right? If your twin is like in low stuff, right? They are in addiction or they're running away or they just, they just can't face this, right? And they, they can't acknowledge and accept a part of themselves, really, that's what's happening, right? Yep. And if they're in that space and then you just go down too, because you're like, well, the separation's gonna kill me, right? And I can empathize with the deep mm. pain of the separation. So please know that it was like the hardest. We were together for many years before we separated. It was a very, very painful, very, very painful experience. The most challenging growth experience of my life. And every day I woke up and I said, I don't think I can do this. Like this is just way too much. Right? But then I started to talk to the universe and I said, I definitely can't do this alone. So I'll tell you that right now. Right? And then the universe will give you what you need. It'll give you a, a teacher, it'll give you a mentor, it'll give you a guide. And then I did whatever I had to do to be in that space, right? And I had daily practice and I had guidance because I needed to know what was going on. Yep. Right? Once we talk to people all the time and it, from the beginning of the time we're doing a session, they will be disaster, right? You're in your pain body, you're in your trigger body. You're, we clear these energies and give context. And then when the shift starts to happen, oh my God, I understand. And I understand that I can be in my power. And I understand what I'm feeling. And in just that short period of time, by the end of the session, it's like, whew, yep. I'm okay. Like, I'm okay. Because you take the hundred, hundred thousand, or the thousand foot view, right? You come down, you look at yourself, and you're like, whoa, I see the big picture now. I see the map. Mm -hmm. I see the container. I see the context. I'm not flailing around in the middle of the ocean anymore. And what I was saying is about being the lighthouse, don't sink. If you're watching this video, 
you probably decided, you know, to be, you know, before you incarnated here in this life, you probably decided to be the person to kind of, hey, this life, I'm gonna kind of forge the way ahead a little. I'm gonna do a little bit of the extra leg work up front because maybe you don't quite see it yet. Maybe you chose some challenges that are gonna hold you back a little, right? So do it, allow yourself to do the work, allow yourself to be in that. And the thing is, it is only gonna create betterment for you. It is only gonna create more peace for you. It is only gonna create more understanding and more love and being in that heart center and being in that love. And when we judge, so a lot of things that happen in separation is a lot of anger, right? Yeah. A lot of anger, a lot of judgment of the twin, the outside. The problem is when we do that, we're really sending it back to ourselves in a nasty way, right? Yeah. Like it's like, we are in so much judgment of self. We can't be in compassion of self and then be in judgment of another part of ourself. Right? That doesn't logically make sense. It's like that with everything, no. <laughs> and it's actually like that with anyone, yeah. right? We can't really judge anyone um, if we are in a place of full compassion with ourselves. Yeah. So if it starts inside of you on that deep level, and then the beautiful thing is it only takes you. you. It only takes one person to change a dynamic. Always. All you have to do is you energetically doing real level deep change. It's going to change all of the stuff. And one of the major things about moving the blocks and restrictions is that actually allows for possibility, right? Because then it doesn't become so like aggressive energy when you try to come together and you're able to actually connect. You're able to actually feel each other connect. You can get in the same room after months of me doing the work. That's what Nicole was able to do. Yeah. Come back into my space. Mm -hmm. We were able to actually be in each other's physical space again. Um, yeah, definitely. And I wanted to, I wanted to bring up before I forget, um, when you are the twin that wasn't the one that really wanted to separate and then the separation happens mm. and you kind of feel like you need to put your whole life on hold and you need to put your dating life on hold. There are ways to deal with that where you don't have to put your life on hold because we understand that how hard it is to have that connection in the 5D and then it almost feels like you're cheating on that person when you're with someone else and you have to understand the love of twins is bigger than that. <laughs> it's bigger than and, and you can connect still with your twin while you're in another relationship. Like your whole life doesn't have to fall apart because I there's so many people that message us and call us and clients that I have that go through the same thing over and over and I know how hard that is because it's really confusing when you're connected here with one person and you're dating somebody else and you're like, I feel like, and it's like there's ways, to, we have ways to, do, to deal with that. Yeah, if your twin is gonna be really separated from you for a long periods of time, like your life doesn't need to end. Right? So Nicole and I were separated for a short period of time. And for me, the right thing, or short enough, right? 10 months. So for me, the, the, I tapped into my higher self and my higher self didn't want me to engage in anyone else, right? Didn't want me to bring that energy. We were still connecting. I was still doing work and, and, and my, my energy was very much with her. So that wasn't the right time. Now, if we had been separated for many years, you know, yes, there's ways to balance these things yeah. so that you're, you're still bringing yourself into your connection. You're still connected with yourself. You're still in purpose. You're still in your, in the energy expanding on the world and you still allowing your heart to be open and to experience the other maybe agreements or connections that you're meant to do here. Yeah. I brought that up just because, you know, sexuality is creation and it's such a flow and you know, I've seen so many people really shut their whole being down and they, they shut off this creative energy. They shut off love. Um, and they really isolate and, and, and if everything that I just said, if that sounds good to you, here, <laughs> it doesn't, I mean, it wouldn't sound good to me. So I'm just, you know, putting that out there to give you, it's okay. It's okay. If anything, we've been telling you like, be good to you, take care of you through this, really find you through this. This is that gift and opportunity for you to like, be like, you know what? Yeah, I want that because why wouldn't you want that? Like literally sometimes like I felt like my higher self was crying for me. Like, hello, like I'm here, like waiting to give you the kingdom, like give you the kingdom of heaven. Like, and you have that even in the pain. I used to say the pain was so, the pain, there was just so much pain that it almost was like a, like a good thing because I, I just was like, wow, how can you hate and love that much someone? How can there be that much passion? And so if you can embrace, if you can just embrace a little bit and just kind of just breathe through the pain and sit with it and ask for help through it, 
you're gonna get through it and you're gonna get through it faster than you would if you fought like every time I fight or it just run. run it just prolongs and and the universe has been so good to me even when I run and whatever it still does it but it just when I let go it's just like poof it just like it just happens and I'm like oh my god that was so much easier and it's like we hold on for dear life because we learned many things to protect ourselves. A lot of us, the, the veil is being ripped, like the illusion is being ripped from us constantly. Yeah. And so it's hard sometimes because we believe things that are not true. You know, like it's really hard in the beginning to know the lie from the truth and to sift through that. But as you do this and as you work every day on yourself and you're doing and you have clearings and you're working with mentors or guides because listen, we still have people that we work with. We still are learning. I never want to stop learning. The day I tell her that I'm like done learning, I'm probably, she's probably gonna smack me and be like, no, because there's always like, be open that you don't know everything. You haven't done everything. There's always something new. And if you let go and stop fighting, here's the kicker. If you let go and stop fighting, you'll actually be present to see the, the blessings and the gifts. Mm. I don't know how many times I missed the gift and blessing because Nicole was running, like running doing things, getting high, literally running down the street. Ah, get away from you. I mean, literally had to run out of the house. And there's probably blessings spouting. I know it's funny. <laughs> I did many a time. Um, we're like going so fast that as the blessings are coming, we're not even acknowledging them or present to see them. Mm. And then we're like, well, God's not there. And the thing is, is God's always there. The universe is always there. So it's like slow down and you know, I always tell people like, can you come up with a plan? Like, what does your life look like right now? And what would you like it to be? And then think about like, what are some things I can do? You can actually do this on your own or you can work with someone and, and really start to work and have a plan of action instead of just sitting there and stewing in it to move forward and to be proactive and take your life back. And then here's the, here's the other thing. If you really want to be in union, it's basically the only way there. It's the best way there. Right? Like if they're ever going to be like union in this life, that is the best option for you. Okay. And letting go of the result, letting go of expectation, just letting go and living. We forget sometimes to live. Sometimes we're so we're working, we're working with clients and sometimes I'm like, Oh my God, I just want to go run around like outside and play with you. Like let's enjoy our lives maybe and stop focusing on all the drama and allow ourselves to really connect with the good stuff because there's a lot a lot of good stuff out here and there's a lot of good people and there's a lot of things that you can be doing to enjoy and to bring joy in and yeah yeah and you know what the wounds are really meant to come up when you connect right because your your connection is bringing your evolution so as you connect and these things come up and it feels really bad and it's like why are they triggering all these things in me it's actually so that you can heal them right and your evolution can continue to progress and those blocks and those energies are not in between you guys anymore. So they're yep. not in between you and yourself. And they're not in between you and God. They're not in, or the universe or creator or whatever you're comfortable with, right? So it's like these, these are actually meant to come up. This is like part of the evolution. It's part of the process. And just like when you go through, you know, growing as a child, it doesn't necessarily feel good. Sometimes your bone hurts. Sometimes you're, right? It's a painful process sometimes. And the truth is, is that that's okay because it's growth. And if you're actively going through it and you're actively experiencing it, a lot of gifts come from that. And you definitely connect, you know, closer and you get closer to what it is that you want. Yeah. Actually, as she said that, it was three, 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 three on the timer. Yeah. <laughs> Very so cool. That's, so that's some truth. So that's, you know, what we wanted to share with you guys. And this is a big subject, right? There's a lot of stuff here and there's a lot of context yeah. and there's a lot you can do and there's a lot you can do to be in your power and there's a lot you can actually do for your twin energetically um, there's a lot you can do for yourself and there is a bigger purpose there's a lot of context right so we're gonna invite you to do a couple things first of all to subscribe to our channel so that you can stay connected with us yeah, right and follow us, us. Yeah, sorry. yeah follow us on Facebook and Instagram um, because we try to do a variety of different things that allow people to engage with us we try to give you yeah. free information we try to give you you know all sorts of there's various levels and the other thing you can do is that there's a link right below here to sign up for a really intensive 90 minute healing like coaching those are not even the right words right webinar about like 
consciousness around separation, what you can actually do. You can listen to it a million times. It is gonna give you so much information. It's not even funny. It's essentially just a love donation fee. Um, and you are gonna get more yeah, than you can gonna imagine. Work, we're gonna work energetically to remove a lot of the blocks and restrictions. Yes, yeah. yes. So we're definitely gonna actually and do again, real work. And again, you'll have the recording so that you can listen to it over and over. It'll be really helpful for your practice, for your daily practice that if you don't have, you're gonna start today. <laughs> yes, yeah, start. And if you guys are totally lost as to what kind of daily practice yeah. to do, we have one for you, yeah. right? So you can just email us um and we can actually get you a daily practice to do every day that we've created and, and if you don't want to do that you can just take some time today mm. go sit and ask the universe for help and be grateful and thank the universe for everything that you do have and ground yourself and you can call on the archangels to be with you and protect you mm. you and your union um, and so you have that you always have you're never alone. You're never alone. We're with you There's so many beings with you. You are never never alone Right, so we feel like really lonely and disconnected especially in the twin flame process because again No one totally understands it's really hard to come up with words and expressions of what we actually go through But again, we understand and it's you can do it. You can get through it. Yeah, so subscribe 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 stay connected to us and you know, uh, so it'll be July 16th at 3 p.m. Eastern time, but you can connect to this webinar um, free from anywhere in the world, right? Because yep. we actually use a system that allows you guys to connect via phone or web from anywhere in the world for free. So it's not gonna be a cost for you to get in touch. So click Let's the link below. <laughs> you can, you know, register um, at the link. Um, it's gonna give you only one date. It's the 16th. It's gonna allow you to go through the process, set your time zone, all that, and you can register. So be with us, right? It's gonna be really powerful. And the more of you that are on there, the more we can do for the collective as well for those that can't be on the call or yep. um, haven't heard of it, right? So definitely let people know it's happening. Connect with us. Shoot us a message or leave us a comment if you have any questions. Yep. Um, and we'll talk more on this. So we love you guys so we much. Love you. Light and love. Bye, guys. Bye.